bit of a stress come mm -hmm. down. You know, mm -hmm. I, I uh, got a haircut, uh, even though I didn't really need a haircut. I think I just right. wanted someone to touch my head, you know, soothing. My grandpa gave my inheritance to Greenpeace. And then someone posted a comment on their website and it could contain a slight on my character. And then Greenpeace promoted the comment. So yeah, that, that's how I'm trying to sue Greenpeace. What water in? Ah, uh, uh, oh, uh, it's what? That's it's lemon. It's, it's lemon, uh, Greg. That's clear. It's LaCroix. Jesus. It's Christ. No, it's natural, like oh, medical. Tissues, yeah. Give it to me. Oh my god. It's gosh. not that lemony. It's just a hint of lemon. I'm driving my grandpa down for Thanksgiving. Oh, Greg, fuck your grandpa. Yeah, okay, you're on you're on speakerphone, Tom. Well, I shouldn't be, Greg. Make it happen. Make it happen, okay? Okay. Or I get in trouble. And I don't want to get in trouble. I want to get in the good books. So you help me get in the good books. Understand, Mr. Snippy Snip? It looks like if if Santa Claus was a hitman, he's still just kind of walking around, but with the slight sense that he might kill someone. You're just fantastic. Yes, I am. Amazing. You're so full of grace. What's that? I think he said you're full of grace. What? What did you say? Wait, Tom. Easy. He's just... You're doing the job, right? And he's had a little cocaine tonight, so I think Dude, he's... don't say that. Don't say that. Good morning. Uh, I'm here to inform you that Waystar Royco has been looking at a range of different options in order to drastically reduce costs and a very difficult decision to restructure the ATN operation internationally has been taken in order to protect the future of the business. This action was only taken after seriously considering all available options. But if you're on this call, this is confirmation that you are part of the unlucky group who are having their contract terminated with immediate effect on the grounds of staffing redundancy and today is your final day of employment. Uh, to do 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 do, final day of employment. Um, Greg is chopping it up. Greg is chopping it up. Greg is chopping it up. I can't technically sue Ewan while he's still alive, but I can sue Greenpeace. You're going to sue Greenpeace? I like your style, Greg. Who do you think you're going to go after next? Save the children. We have a bond. You do? Yeah, sure. I was an outsider once. A young guy from St. Paul, alone in the big city, and it was hard, and you create this kind of protective shell. But underneath, you know, we're all just little nudie turtles. Okay. Oh my god, it's actually happening. It's happening. The troops are taking Saddam's palace, man. This time tomorrow, you and me. I could I could be like the I could be like the third most important guy in the company. I mean, it's the storming of the Bastille. Let us eat cake. I mean <laughs> I don't know I don't know what we're talking about. It's like kind of against my principles. Your principles? Craig, don't be an asshole. You don't have principles. Dude, ATN is a very toxic element in the culture. Seriously, okay, name me one principle that you have. I don't know, like, I'm against racism. Bullshit, I'm against racism. Everybody's against racism. What else? Like, don't lie. Fuck off. Like, if you're the news, Fuck like, off. you should. Hey, that's your principle? Yeah, dude. Tacitus comes to mind. Yeah, yeah, Tacitus. Classic Tacitus. He's made a wasteland and calls it an empire. God, Tacitus, he just, just all killer, no filler with him. Did, did he ever have a bad quote? This is fuck, this is, dude, thank you so much, man. Wow. I mean, look at these ceilings. Yeah, nice it's height. Like, you got big windows, a lot of light. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, have you ever had your own place? Fuck. Greg, are you kidding? Hey, Tom. Forgive me, but uh, are we talking to each other on the poop deck of a majestic schooner? Is the salty brine stinging my weather-beaten face? No? Then why the fuck are you wearing a pair of deck shoes, man? Oh, yeah, no. Well, my credit card got maxed out. Um, I'm staying in a youth hostel on like $80 Jesus, a day. Jesus, how squalid. Dude, are you carrying dog shit? No, no. No, it's... Uh, it's free, right? Is that cool? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to be melodramatic, but 
My body is growing weak due to a lack of sustenance. But in a dog poop baggie? Yeah, I have a bunch of them from Greg, back home. that's disgusting. Not really. It's like, it's not like they pre-poop them or something. Like, it's not like, they're just bags, really. It's just a mental barrier. A pair of Capto Oxfords, Crockett and Jones, ASAP. Lucinda, can we uh, figure out where we might put the talented Mr. Greg? It's like Jaws. If, if everyone in Jaws worked for Jaws. Yeah. I'm giving all my money to Greenpeace, Greg. Um, what? Even my part? That was the first part. Executive assistant to Tom Wamsgans, correct? Yes. <clears throat> yes, if, if it is to be said. I'm sorry? Uh, if it is to be said, so it be, so it is. Are, are you all right? Uh, yes. Uh, I merely wish to answer in the affirmative fashion. You can speak to us normally. Okay. No, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, so I shall. Mr. Bond. I've been expecting you. How are you? Where are you hey. sitting, man? Um, In the basement? Out by the dumpsters? Maybe you'll, you'd want to trade? Maybe you'll meet a wealthy widow and you can seduce her with your sad eyes. She can keep you as a pet in Westchester. Oh, go ahead, man. Hey, yeah. so this is what you do? You, like, come to a club and then you come to, like, this other part where the club sort of is it? Yeah, that's it. Two, this is 2,000 bu bucks a pop. Why? No reason. We're being totally ripped off. Is this gold? Is this gold leaf? Uh huh. Drink the gold, my friend. And then later you and I can have a 24 karat piss. You guys off to the bathroom? Uh huh. Uh -huh. What way. fucking business is it of yours?